Hello, my wonderful viewers, subscribers, especially my returning subscribers. Thank you very much. How are you all doing? Compliments of the season. I hope your uh, Christmas was very great. Merry Christmas and a prosperous uh, new year ahead. I was going through the newspapers and uh, I first of all heard this news uh, from BBC News. And also, I found it also in a punch and newspaper concerning uh, four Nigerian uh, UK health workers that were jailed for elder abuse. The BBC News reported of these uh, four Nigerian uh, health workers that have been jailed after the camera caught them for physically and emotionally abusing an elderly patient. You know, in the U in uh, in the diaspora, as, um, most of the easy work that you get is uh, healthcare work, looking after the elderly. So these uh, four workers were caught in the camera abusing an elderly uh, patient, and the names of the names of the uh, UK workers were uh, were Ame Tokara and Morotayo. Adefila, Bridget Adenya, they were found uh, uh, guilty of uh, ill treatment and willful neglect, and they were uh, sentenced to four months imprisonment, in, uh, four months jail, while uh, Danny was sentenced to six months. The police revealed that the workers were caught on camera Miss manhandling the 89 year old woman who has vascular dementia and could not speak. The camera was installed by the woman's family for four days after they noticed bruises on the arm of, uh, their, fam uh, of their relative, of the 89-year-old uh, woman. The camera showed that the 89-year-old woman was handled roughly hit with a pillow and treated with lack of dignity and respect. But this woman sadly uh, passed on. This offences was, I think, in 2020. But you know, in uh, the diaspora, they don't uh, jail you immediately. They will investigate and investigate and it might even take years before you now go to jail for it. So I think it happened that in 2020. And uh, it is, you know, it is this uh, year they now jail them for four months and six months, respectively, depending on the uh, severity of uh, of uh, the abuse that they saw on the camera. But this so-called this uh, uh, 89 year old uh, woman sadly passed away in October this year, and the police officer said she should not have spent any of her remaining years suffering such a uh, ailment. This news was also carried, you know, carried by um, a punch. So what? And I just brought it so that, we, you know, before I'll give it, I, I, you know, so that I can give a comment on this. This is very sad. Why do you leave your country for for better future, and then you go, you, you your behavior now will now end you in jail for four or six months, whether it's even for two weeks. In the diaspora, if you have gone to jail, you are you, you are like a leper. You will not easily get any job. And of course, these four people, they will never get a job in the healthcare uh, system. They will never. That was the last job they did. For them to be uh, caught on camera, abusing the woman, throwing pillow, physically. And uh, uh, maybe dragging her and all that because it was the bruises that uh, their family members saw that they now went and uh, uh, installed the camera in her room. Normally, in uh, group homes or uh, adult uh, foster care homes, they don't, you know, because of the privacy of the client, there is no camera being put in their rooms. But in the sitting room, you have cameras in it. In the dining room, in uh, the public places, there are cameras in the in the home, in the group home or nursing home, you know, 
uh, anywhere you have to take care of uh, a client. But in their personal private rooms, there are no cameras. But this, they just had to do this because if maybe they asked, I'm sure they asked them, they said they don't know what happened to her. And that was why the family now, of course, maybe would have taken taking permission from the institution to put a um, camera in the in the lady's room, in the old woman's room. Because the woman cannot speak. The woman can't talk, can't say what uh, they've been doing to her. She has dementia. And then you will now leave your country. You jack back from your country. Go to another, uh, go to the diaspora. Go to uh, either UK or, you know, America or anywhere, any European countries to do healthcare work. And then you are going there to go and be physically uh, abusing uh, the client. That is not good enough and it's unacceptable. If you know you don't have the patience to look after an elderly, don't take the job. If you know you don't have the uh, patience to, to do a, a nurse aid work, cleaning up the patients and all that, because some of these patients, at times, they won't want to take a bath. They won't want to take a bath, and if you and you are not allowed, you are not allowed to force them to do that. All they needed to do, if the that uh, patient was refusing whatever service they wanted to give her, all they needed to do was to tell their supervisor that she's refusing uh, clean up or any service that they've asked you to do for the patient. She's not cooperating, or she's uh, uh, you know she's violent. She's not cooperating. It's not for you to now be physically be forcing her. You are not allowed to force any patient to do anything against his or her will. In the diaspora, is an offense. So for that, they will never, those four uh, uh, people, four Nigerians, will never get a job in the healthcare industry. And that thing is going to follow you. Every form you feel, they will ask, have you been to jail? You say yes. What reason? And you cannot lie that you have not been to jail because they are going to check your background and screening. For you to go to jail, they would have they would put it against your name, against your social security number. So anytime uh, you, any employer goes to do your background check, it will just flash that you you are an abuser, you abused uh, an elderly, and you went to jail for it. So it's so sad. So my dear, my dear friends, if you know you don't have the patience to do care work. Please do not accept such a job. Do not do it. Look for another type of job. If you are the person that is easily angered, you don't, you, you know, you, you are easily annoyed. Don't take such a job. It will land you in jail. They were just lucky that, you know, the little they saw on the camera was just, uh, uh, you know, maybe throw pillow or whatever. If maybe they have seen them uh, hitting her, beating her severely, they, they, their sentences will be more than four months or six months. So please, do not take on some jo such jobs because uh, uh, <laughs> you are looking for money. And then you know that you don't have that uh, uh, sympathy, you don't have empathy to look after people. You are just taking the job because of the money. Then you find yourself in trouble. The people that do such jobs, people that do uh, uh, nursing, or people that do such uh, uh, healthcare work, are people that are not easily annoyed. They have empathy. They they want to help the people that are that are in distress. Naturally, is in them. Such a person will not go and will not be annoyed. And apart from that, they have even trained you. They don't just tell you, you know, any institution that employs you, especially in the healthcare. They will not just, you know, they will not just uh, uh, say, oh, take, just go to this, go to that, go to go to this room, go and look after this. You must, they, 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 they must have, you must have gone through a uh, little training. They must have told you the do's and the don'ts. You can't force anybody against this or her will in the diaspora. And then because she's not able to talk, that was why, you know, they did that to her. If maybe the first time they did it, she's the type that can talk, they, they won't try it. Because she will report them immediately what they did to her. And it's not even good. 
It's not good. Put yourself in the position of the 89-year-old woman. You are dragging her, beating her because she refused. And you know, those elderly women, if you are trying to force them, they will become very uh, ag- agitative. They will want to fight back. Because I own group homes. They will want to fight back. So I know how the patients behave. So, but if you don't aggravate them, if you don't make them to be annoyed, they will not be annoyed. They will just tell you the first time, no, it's time to take a, a bath. Come on, let's go take a bath. No, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. But it's when you want to start to force them, then that's where the problem starts. You know, I, they will not become agitated and become violent. And I want to even hit you. The fact that they are not even able to talk. So, but that doesn't even give you the right to abuse them, to beat them, to touch them, to throw pillow at them. It does not give you the right. So, please, don't stay your name. Those names now are out. And everybody knows now that such people went to jail. Unless you now do other things, you cannot do any healthcare work. You won't, you won't be employed. You won't get any employment for life. It's so unfortunate. So I just wanted to bring this out and to advise uh, people. Don't leave your country and go to jail. You are going for betterment of your life. Any place you want to work, there are do's and don'ts. Please follow it so that it will be well with you. Follow it so that you will enjoy that country. If you don't follow instructions, you just do whatever you like. You will not, you, you won't go scot free or you are not in Nigeria. Where there is no rule of law. In the diaspora, there is rule of law. And can you imagine? I'm sure they, it, they, those four uh, workers never knew that they, they had put a camera in the room. They have been doing it for a long time. Every day for the thief, one day for the owner. And then they now caught them. They just put that camera within four days when they check the camera. That's what they've been doing to the woman. Somebody that is almost dying. Because they told you to go and take care of her. You went there to go and be physically uh, abusing her. Emotionally abusing her. Up to the extent the bruises on her, on her arm. Please let us be cautious. And let us know what we are doing. Let us stop spoil, spoiling our names. Spoiling our country name. Go there and behave yourself. Please, as usual, comment. What do you think? Did these four uh, workers, did they do the right thing? Or not? Please comment below so that when other people read it, they will, they, 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 they will, they too will be cautious. Watch it. Please like, share, and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. But if you have subscribed, I say thank you. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Bye. From Grandma Esohe. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.